According to White and Gardner, Anchorage is the site of delivery from which a force is exerted. And according to Graeber, it is the nature and degree of resistance to displacement offered by an anatomical unit when used for the purpose of effecting tooth movement. So, while we are doing any orthodontic procedures, we have active components and we have the resistive component. Active components generate the force and the resisting component, they they provide the resistance to make this force effective so that the force is not nullified by the Newton's third law. Okay. Let us talk about the sources of anchorage. We have the intraoral sources as already told means we will take the anchorage from the intraoral site and extraoral sources means we will take the help from the outside. Okay. It could be occiput, it could be facial bone.